finish line. Hey, the radio picker is far from slow. The lights no longer get low. Ready, steady, go. Crank it up. Crowds all on their feet, not one bothered by the heat. Imagine them in the driver's seat. Triggered flag would be sweet. Break it up. Oh, it's racing. Break it up. And now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here in the bright early day morning sunshine array. We are here at Bristol Motor Speedway where the Bristol Dirt Track lays in wait for the brand new league version of the morning series. This is PTM Morning Dirt Series live on PTM Racing TV. Hi, got everyone. I am the Crusader Christian Shriver on the line, on the call, on the race for this one. We're ready to get to the action here and pace this one around for a battle. This is heat number one coming on your grinding order right now on the pole. It'll be Steven Lingenfelder in the number 26 that is outside the 51 of Eric Gann. Your row two is going to see Chantel Throttle on the outside and James Ellington in the 34 is supposed to be on the inside, but mechanical failure right now causing him to be down in pit road. He'll have to get that fixed up quickly. They'll bring it around town here on the front straightaway. This is going to be your final pace lap for heat number one as they settle him in, getting ready to go to the green flag start. Langenfelter, no, no surprise, he is back with us here on the show. He knows how to run Bristol Dirt pretty well like a very agile pretty smart little runner he knows how to hit it hard here eric Gann, though as well has shown very much improvement looking stronger every time he comes out running pretty quickly and of course i don't think i need to say anything else about chantel the throttle pottle always a bad fast hombre that woman does not give an inch to anybody no man can hold on to that she will give it all she's got james ellington Really a surprise shocker from Lanyard a couple of nights ago when he pulled off a pretty good run there. We'll see if he can do the same as they're about to bring it to the green flag. Green flag is out. The lights are on. We're underway. Off the start, Lingenfelter has the advantage here. Straight to the bottom he goes. He'll try to keep that bottom line intact. Try to line it through here as the number 51 right behind him in the MR Customs Chevrolet trying to get up to him. Langenfelter, though, starting to develop a bit of a lead early on. You can see Chantel trying to get up there with Eric again as we go to the onboard camera here with Langenfelter. Hard on the throttle. James Ellington finally gets it out there. The 34 machine there you see of Ellington coming out. We'll see him a little bit later on in the feature, hopefully, and hopefully he'll be able to pull up a little bit of a better time and get that fixed up on the issues on his car there. I'm around the outside though. Here comes the throttle. Shents up. Auto run over the hard run. The green tech energy VA machine trying to make a move on the outside line. Maybe trying to pull a little bit of a sneaker on that 51. The 51 trying to hold her off. Oh, a little bit of a corner panel there. Rear bumper thrown out the throttle's front end there. Chantel had nowhere to go. Giving a little bit of a tag there from that old 51 of Eric Gan Gan. Hanging on to a pretty good line as you see the build up on the bottom and the outside line breaking down quickly. That bottom line breaking down so hard right now you would have thought that there was a black lung on that one because that looks like someone just smoked the bottom line up completely. Meanwhile, Steven Lingenfelder, man, he is just giving her everything she's got out of the start and continuously dominating out of the start here. He's got a pretty good lead right out of the gate here. But Aragon and Chantel are not done with each other yet here in the heat number one. And you see there are three other drivers waiting in the wings to get ready for heat number two coming up in just a minute. 
as we brought to you the season opener here with four laps to go. Gann now still looks like he might have a little bit of company here from the five. Chantel seems to have a run here. Coming around that turn two there. Then it doesn't seem like she'll lose too much on him or gain anything there. James Ellington in 34 still trying to pace his way around, give himself a little bit of a breather or two. See if that holds up later on. Right now, though, he is doing a pretty good job, I would say, holding on to his line, holding on to his key spots. Will he be able to keep on to that later as Chantel out of turn one? You see that little bobble there. Might have got one of the turtles down there as we nicknamed him here at Bristol. It's basically a form of a turtle to literally just being thrown on dirt. So we nicknamed it the turtle. And unfortunately, I think that turtle might end up costing the five to run here. Any chance to get around Eric Gann to get a better spot up in the main event. White flag is out here for the Lingenfelser. He'll run him down out of turn three and a four. One more time around for Lingenfelter. The 26 will be your number one driver to beat on the AA main. He starts first there. Eric Gann getting second, third to Chantel, Toronto Bottle, and fourth holding up the rear, James Ellington, the 34. That was heat number one here on the books here. Let's take a look at our PTM Racing TV heat number one results. As it pops up now here, here it is. Here we come up right there. The PTM Morning Dirt Series season opener. Brings you Lingenfelter, the race winner. Second going to Eric Gann. Third, Chantel Tottapottle. And fourth to James Ellington to round out your field there as we now bring it to heat number two. This is where we're going to start off here on the pole. Jared Heasley and that 23 Pittsburgh Steelers machine to his outside. It's the Crusader himself in the 14 Paw Patrol. And the, outs and the final starter tonight will be a newcomer. It's the 8 of Jesse Osborne and that Dirt Panda machine. This looks to be a strong lineup as well here. Some heavy hitters in this one. You got to love all these unique designs out there. You got a Pittsburgh Steelers car, which, you know, considering I'm an NFC guy and also I'm a Packers fan that, uh, I don't know, I don't want to make fun of here easily a little bit, but uh, easily don't come after me for uh, beating you guys in the Super Bowl that one year. And then apparently that Paw Patrol scheme there, obviously done up by a little friend of his. The Crusader told me earlier he wanted to make sure he rocked it for that little guy. So you see his name on the back there, Riley. But also he said his niece Addison was watching this. So he hopes that Little Miss Addie is watching right now. So if you're seeing it, check it out there. And of course right behind him that Vibe Liquor Dirt Panda number 8 there of Jesse Osborne. Pretty sweet looking ride there to say the least. Pretty good looking Maybe some machinery there. We'll see. How it all does here and how it will handle out as we get set for the next round of racing here. Heat number two is coming up on your screen here. Right now, the pace truck is getting set out of here. We're about to tell the drivers. All right, enough of this pace and enough of that. Let's bamboozle this one and get going. They'll charge them out of turn three into four, waiting for the green flag to come out, looking for the start. Looking for the run. There's a come off the line. Green flag is out. We're underway. A strong start there from the 14 of Shriver. He gets the early advantage, goes up top of the bottom of the black slicks. Hazley falls back behind early. Jesse Osborne right on the attack. Osborne right on the gun, trying to make that middle line work. Get a little bit of a power boost underneath there as he goes to the inside line there. The Crusader, we've got a battle for the race lane in heat number two. On the outside, oh, Crusader, don't play games around here either. He says, oh, I see you, Osborne. Let's go out of here, Demon, into the back stretch. They fired hard. The Osborne Cam Dirt Panda machine now trying to hang on, trying to pull ahead just enough of the Crusader. Can Shriver get a run there on the outside? Seems like he's getting some push there, but it's not getting ahead enough. The bottom line looks like there's still too much grip down there, or is it? Here comes another run here on that back straightaway. Shriver now getting a little bit more run, giving a little bit more push there. You see Osborne brings it right back down low. It looks like Shriver's going to drift up a little bit. That's no man's land. You don't want to do that. Now he's got to try to get that draft up on Osborne. Osborne making a beautiful run there, making a good pass as we go on board. Hard run early out of the early gate here. Seven drivers came in with us here tonight for the morning league. We'll have many more as time goes on, I bet you. This is just the start to possibly a new division and also kind of a way for the early morning risers to come out here and have a little fun. I would say so far, it's definitely having a pretty good impact, pretty good stuff here with Series 7 drivers showed up and they have put on a show so far. And speaking of putting on a show, apparently Shriver says, I'm going to throw a little bit of something back at Osborne for earlier. Straight to the bottom, slider driven up. Didn't quite get it to go, though. 
Time running out here. Three laps to go here. Osborne still holding on by not by much, though. That's about a two tenths a gap as they're running down the back straight away. One more time around. Osborne trying to defend the bottom. You can see him running that middle side as well. But that black slick is not where you want to go. He's trying to keep the rear end on that nice tarmac. Nice little smooth, silky, tacky stuff there in the grip zone. The more grip he's got, the more run he can get off exit. The problem is with that draft package for Shriver, he can get a hard run off that and get a good position in as they lead it in back now. One more time by the A. Holds on for dear life. White flag is that you see there on the corner of your screen. Can Osborne hold off one more time around the 14? Still doing his best. Still trying to hang with it. Can Osborne give him one more go? He's got him right on the rear corner. He goes straight to the bottom. Shriver's going to go up high. I think he's going to try to cross him through on the bottom. Not enough momentum. Jesse Osborne's going to win heat number two. And a strong race there for these guys. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now we'll take it to the PTM Racing TV. Heat two results now on your screen here. Jesse Osborne wins this one. Not by much. By about a tenth of a gap a second. Second goes to Jared Heasley as they round out the field now. Time to get to the good stuff here. While they get ready to go here up on the show. We're going to see these drivers and all that. Then some go at it. Right now we are currently under warm-up session. They will have two minutes to warm up. Get settled down in there. You'll see the uh, gap position show up in a minute. Now who's getting where and who's getting what in a moment. So Jesse Osborne wins heat number two. Steven Lingenfelter heat number one. Looks like they will be the two drivers to beat tonight. As Eric Gann holding on a pretty good run there in second. You saw Shriver just a minute ago pulling off a pretty good fight for set there. Chantel obviously put up a heck of a run as well in her spot. So you really got a couple of drivers in here that can easily take this one over. And we didn't see enough of James Ellington when it came to really that run because he was nowhere near the pack. He had, no, he had nowhere to go. So I don't know, folks. It could be interesting, but I feel as though this could be an early wake-up call for some drivers and really a good start to a season if they could pull off a win here. So we'll see what happens, but there is a lot of heavy hitters in here that would love to take everyone down. Jared Heasley right now not offering to go into the track. He wants to let the track alone, see if he can get something going there later. I can't quite blame him there, but... Man, with the track schedule they got going on the lineup here, I'll be interested to see who can get what and who can get where with these runs. As you see, the final laps and time starting to click away. Ten more seconds before we get to the A main. And if you are new to the channel and never been here before, first off, welcome. Great to have you on board. And second, if you guys could and would, be sure to like and share and subscribe up here on our show. Up on, this will be up on YouTube in just a little while. And we'll have, obviously, the full race coverage here on Facebook as always. So be sure to check it out when we get to it as we're about ready to bring it down to the A main event of the evening. The time has come. The time is being the place to decide this one. We're going to give a quick little refresh to the stream here. Yes, uh, I know that there's no technical difficulties, but let's just say there is because currently we need to refresh the stream here. So we'll make sure everything's ready to go on our end here. It looks like we are set now. So here we go. It is time for your PTM Morning Dirt Series A main event of the evening. And here's how we got here. On the pole, the 26 is Steven Lingenfelter to his outside. Jesse Osborne in that number eight. Row number two, it'll be the 51 of Eric Gann. And the next side of him will be the Crusader Shriver in the 14. Row number three, it is Chantel the throttle bottle into her outside. Jared Heasley in the 23. And the final starter sees James Ellington in the 34. Race fans, two laps to pace, two laps to set the tone, set the drive, set the run. Who is going to walk away with the W here? Who is going to win this one out? So as the drivers will bring this one around, get this 
caved in, fired on all cylinders. We will see a heavy run and a heavy position or two here and see what these guys can pull off here tonight. Hey, main event time here. They're going to line them up down out of turn three and four. They're looking to set the tone, set the stage for the very first race of the season out of turn four. Looking for the green flag. Lingenfelter leads them off. The charge is at hand. We're green flag racing. Right out of the gate, Emilia on the bottom line. There, here comes Shriver on the bottom. Emilia charging here again. Three wide slew with Jesse Osborne. Again, didn't quite get the running one in the middle. And the 14 is just full on laying it down. He's already trying to make some big moves here. But here comes that five of Chantel. Pot on the outside. The Retech Energy number five hard run on the spot. Jesse Osborne trying to make a move early on Lingenfelter. You can see them kind of beating and banging a little up there, a little bit behind him. Eric Gannon, Shriver, got to into another three. Wide salute as a five of Shent's elbows in position. Hard run up to the top side. Shriver has to back off, get out of that spot there, buddy. James Ellington going at war with Jared Heasley early on, starting to move up a little closer. They charge their way around now as they position in for a good charge on the body. The onboard camera here with Chantel throttle potty. See the Crusader falling back a little bit, having no run there. James Ellington and Jared Heasley are going to put it to him. That is where the battle is right now between those drivers. James Ellington just hard on the charge, hard on the momentum, getting some going. Running them through down the course zone here, Jesse Osborne. Now moving up on the outside line, pushing in. Steven Lingenfelter here moving down in the inside zone, maybe making a move for it. Osborne trying to hang in with it here. Oh, there's problems down there. James Ellington has crashed it. We've got a caution. We've got a caution. Well, I'm not sure what started that whole chain reaction. I missed it as it was going around. Let's go to the PTM Mr. Replay and find out what happened here. Let's see here. Here is your PTM Instant Replay in all of its glory. Let's see what happened to that Can-Am 34. He comes right here out of turn one now. He's got a pretty good run here, but here comes that 14. And a little bit, ooh, a little too aggressive there from the 14. He slows way down, trying not to cause any more damage. Unfortunately, though, the damage was already done. Jared Heasley getting tagged in that one. A tough, tough break there for both drivers. So let's out sell him back down, get this one fielded back into position here, hopefully, and get a run or two back in this it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out and how well this will go for these drivers as we start to really tear away and rip on down this one so as we get things figured back in right now the drivers are starting to pace themselves back up first caution of the night here for the drivers in the a main event And as they bring it back into town, bring it back through, a lot of fans and friends have joined us into the show here tonight. First off, welcome and thank you for tuning in. We hope you've enjoyed it so far. These guys will have another five races or so to go before this season comes to an end. There's a lot more at hand, a lot more at stake here, of course, that you'll catch as we go along here as the green flag flies back on out. We're back underway. Eric and immediately right out on the battle there with Jesse Osborne. He slides right up into him. The five of Chantel putting up a bit of a fight there to the eighth dirt panda machine now. Osborne trying to hold on and trying to keep it away from her. And there again now starts to lead the charge up to that number one driver here, the 26th, Steven Lingenfelter. But it is Lingenfelter who still holds the lead. Yeah, Mark Custom 51 getting pretty close, pretty hot on the throttle here. A pretty good camera angle from our crew members here as they work this whole situation out, whole show out. Track side right now, it is a battle in between and around. Little bump and bang in there from the end of Osborne. He crosses all in. We've got a big problem there on the back stretch. Big wreck. Caution's out. Caution is out. Osborne almost upside down in the A. Dirt Panda machine and major problems there. 14 of the Crusader honestly backed off. I'm not sure why he slowed down so much. We'll have to take a look at the PTMS replay here and find out what happened there. Sorry for the little logo display here. Just remember, we do have other leagues we work with here and there, so there is a, occasionally that little hiccup of a logo popping up when it should, or an advertisement. 
Here it is, a PTM instant replay in all of its glory here. Little bang there on the A, and I actually saw the 5 actually get a little bit of a bump out of the 14, and the 8 did go over on his lid, but thankfully Osborne is okay, got it out of that, but I think he might have lost steering there for a minute. I don't know why else he would have gone right into the wall there, but uh, thankfully I think he's okay, just maybe a little bit more annoyed than anything. So they'll line them back into position here, get ready to go once more as we get things filed back into position. Under caution at the moment here, still under caution as they will bring him around out of turn four. They are finally cleaned up and fixed out here on the restart here. The green flag is out here again. Didn't even get off the start. Green flag was out and Lingenfelter got a good jump there. You got to be very aware of that start, man. Once that green pops, you're going. There's no other way around it. Jared Heasley in the 23. Pretty stolid off the start. Pretty marred on the momentum. Trying to hang in there. Out of the gate here. The 14 of the Crusader Shriver trying to move back up. Get the Paw Patrol 14 ahead. Trying to impress his little friend there on the side of the car as well as his niece. He wants to show him how it's done around here. Cap Crawford saying good morning, Crusader, and Kenneth Nicholas Kern saying problems. Great to have you all on board, and good morning, everybody. Hard on the momentum, hard on the run. Jared Heasley in the 23, outside looking in. Eric Gann right there with him, side by side. They take it down. Heasley now to the right back to the bottom, though. He'll hammer it in a little bit hard on the throttle. Chantel right back with him. The last time Chantel was here, she pretty much shocked a lot of boys out here on the last couple laps and just poured it on to come up to a close second. Oh, again, gets a little bump and run there from the 23. That opens the door up for the five to move in. She's going to go to the inside, almost a three wide, so it had a turn two. Side by side. No, they don't touch. That was pretty close, so they hold on. Woo! Yeah, these earth socks are throwing on all this like they're throwing it everywhere and any which way to Sunday and it's not even Sunday. And by the way, folks, we still got two more races to call here tonight. Pedal and Metal is back at North Wilkesboro tonight as well as Mississippi Dirt finally coming back out for the, the Okemo race there at Bristol at Dirt Motor Tracks and we got a problem. Eric Gannon, the five of Chantel just completely ramped in and smacked around there. And unfortunately, that will bring out another caution. I believe that's our third of the night. We'll take it to the PTM Instant Replay and find out what happened here. Here is your PTM Instant Replay and all of its glory. Let's see again. Oh, yeah, he just brought it right in there a little bit. Tags the five in. Thankfully, Chantel was able to get out of that. Man, she smacked that. She smacked that top barrier hard. Holy smokes. We'll go on the onboard camera here with her and show you what it looked like on her on her end for a little bit of a different look here. I can tell you right now though, she did not like that hit. Let's give her a take around here at Bristol, and that's one reason why. Listen to this. Oh man. Side door panel gets a big lick. Thankfully there are insert pairs ready to be used up when you need them. And in this case, they definitely needed them there. And that was your PTM is to replay for the PTM Morning Dirt Series as we are about ready to bring this back around and back into position. Now the Crusader will have a chance at redemption. Him and Lingenfelter last time they were here. Boy, did they put up a fight. Those two gave it everything they had and then some. Chantel come in pretty much almost derailed all their momentum. And even then, Eric Gann was also in the back there as well, fighting for position the last time these guys are here. And they will have to run this place one more time next week on Thursday, on Tuesday, on, t on Wednesday morning. Or afternoon, I should say, not Wednesday morning. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out and how they'll hold up on their end. Jared Easley, though, man, talk about making a debut in the dirt stocks. He is firing all cylinders with that Pittsburgh Steelers. Number 23 might be looking to, you know, steal one. Huh? Huh? Okay, okay, I'll stop. I got, I got, a, I had to pull a punt or two around here. Otherwise, I was never gonna be, you know, the guy that always has a little fun with these things. So the five of Chantel and Eric Gann will have to uh, pull it back here a little bit right now. But on the restart, still seven drivers in full view and range. The momentum starting to sway. Will that change here one more time? 
We'll find out. Lingenfelter is going to have his hands full, though, because that 14 of Crusader does not let up to just anybody. He is going to have to charge it hard here on the restart. Green flag back on out. We're back underway. Right off the spot, James Ellington in the 34 making a charge and a half there around with Jared Heasley. They connect though on the back straightaway. A little bit of contact. Ellington holds on. Now it is the eight edge. Eric Osborne looking for a run. He sees a gap. Will he def will he try to make it work? You can do three wide slits here pretty easily. It's just a matter of making sure you don't take the other out with it when you do it. Seems like he's not going to do it just yet. And up front right now, look at this. The Paw Patrol 14 hard on the momentum, hard on the throttle. He's trying to find a different line to Lingenfelters, but it looks like Felters got a better run than he does at the moment. As they sling it around, troubles there for Jared Heasley. He gets a little bump there from the five. Caution's back out. And just when you thought he could get the run going, all of a sudden it gets derailed just like that. We're going to go to the PTM Instant Replay now and take a look at this one. That was a big lick and a half there that he took on that wall protection on the front straightaway. Here is your PTM Instant Replay. Looks like he died right down the bottom down there, trying to get away from the Dirtles, and then all of a sudden, ouch. Bump and run, and we're not even in the asphalt cars for Bristol. That is a tough, tough break there for those, for Jared Heasley there. Obviously not what he wanted to have happen, but that will derail the momentum just ever so slightly now as the drivers are getting ready to pace their way back up into position here we're coming on to a green white checkered restart now they will bring them back around one more time who is going to be able to hold on to this one who is going to be able to take this one to victory lane we're going to soon find out as they charge them around out of turn four looking for the green flag it's back out we're back underway this restart tells the tale. Osborne goes to the outside. Ellington tries to get a run on the bottom from Crusader. Shriver holds him on, though. They charge down the back straightaway. Lingenfelter has to hold on for just a couple more laps. Will he be able to do it here as he leads it back in one more time by final laps? Closing in. Two to go. Green flag flies. We're with two laps left. Oh, a little bit of bumping and banging there for the 14. And the 26 of Lingenfelter getting a little bit of a hit or two out of that. I'm not sure. And that was exactly what he had in mind there. Osborne, though, sees his opportunity. He's going for a broker and going for the win. And right back on the attack yet again. 14 of Shriver gets a big run there, but he still can't get it to work. White flag is out. Osborne now sees upper shot. He wants to go for it here. The dirt panda number eight trying to get up in there. The 14 gets out of the 26 of the league and fell through the crowd down. Bash it back. And the 14 gets taken out right out of the box stretch. Down out of turn four, though. Osborne looking for a run to the finish line. And Lincoln Felter by half a car link will take this one home. What a race. Wow, that right there is what you call heavy racing to the end. Don't quit. Don't give out. Now, I'm not sure if Lincoln Felter just got a little too hard on the throttle and didn't realize where Shriver was. But, I mean, I think it goes out saying I think uh, Shriver kind of had that one coming a little bit, too, because he was bumping and banging pretty hard. But, obviously, no harder feelings there because you see him just kind of going into Pritt Road. Lingenfelter will be your race winner. He takes home the inaugural season opener at Bristol Dirt for the PTM Morning Dirt Series. Lingenfelter is your winner here tonight, but he's got a long road of races to go still before he can call himself a champion. But nevertheless, he takes home the win. We're going to take a look at the uh, PTM Racing TV results now up on the scoreboard here. Here is how it is. Lingenfelter wins it. Second, Jesse Osborne. Third, James Ellington. Fourth to Chantel Throttle Pottle. Fifth, uh, the Crusader Shriver. Sixth, Eric Ann. And seventh to Jared Easley to round out your field. Race fans, that is it for the first race of the night. I've, or well, the morning, I should say. It's still afternoon. Wow, how is it afternoon? I'm, I'm so, I am so confused. I, it's not going to get used to these mornings. And yeah, we got to figure out how to get used to them. So I guess we'll leave it at that for now. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for tuning on in. Hope you've enjoyed this one. We've got two more races coming your way. Pedal the Metal still is not done. They're coming back at it here at North Wilkesboro. Yes, the Save the Speedway track everyone's been talking about is coming to you in the Super Late Miles Division. One more race after that before we crown season champions. And then, of course, Mississippi Dirt caps off with the Kokomo Speedway race. They will return to action in a form. Who will be the victor there? We'll find out soon. But for now, 
from all of us here at PTA Racing TV. Thank you again for tuning in. We appreciate you. We love you guys. And we'll see you next time when the green flag flies on our